across that front. But not only are we seeing showers, the mother of a man murdered nearly 16 years ago. Not only does she forgive one of the inmates in prison for her son's death, she's one of the leading advocates for him to get out. And today's Behind the Badge. Life locked up, behind bars, closed gates, isolated in a prison cell. It's how inmate Fanua Kimawana has lived for the last 14 years at the Utah State Prison. Once they, they read the charges to you, murder 15 in their life, there was like a big, like a big wave of emotions that hit me that day. Sentenced in 2010 on charges for kidnapping and killing a man in West Jordan. Over the past decade, that reality of being removed from society has brought with it another wave of emotions. It was a pain. Right. Guilt? Absolutely guilt. Mainly, mainly shame. But now, there's also hope. As unlikely as it may sound, the mother and daughter of the man murdered, Jay Wolfinger, are now advocates for Fanua to get out. I believe it's time for him to go home to his family. Speaking with Jay's mother, Linda, over Zoom in New Mexico, she says she forgives Fanua and doesn't believe he played the key role that led to her son's death. And I look at this like I could be sitting here waiting for my son to come home. And if my son was not completely involved in something, I would want him to come home. That belief has been over a decade in the making. It took Linda 13 years before she could bring herself to read this letter for Newer Road, answering her questions about what happened in 2008, the day her son died. Fanua writes he'd been up all night drinking and doing drugs the night before when he got a call that morning from his uncle saying he needed Fanua's help. When family calls, in our culture, when family calls you with a question, go. Fanua drove to the Broadmoor Village Apartments in West Jordan, where his uncle severely beat Jay with the butt of a gun and needed Fanua to get rid of him. Realizing what he got into, Fanua says he tried to leave, but admits he helped take Jay's body out of the apartment. By the time we got into the car, uh, I was supposed to follow to uh, another house in West Valley, but they kept going and I took uh, the second airport road. They didn't want a part of it anymore. Fanua explains he didn't take part in the beating, but says he didn't do anything to help Jay either, something Fanua now deeply regrets, and vows to Jay's mother he'll teach young people to avoid becoming like him. He writes, if I can prevent one of these youngsters coming in and out of here from getting into gangs and doing drugs, your loved one Jay won't die in vain. I'm taking responsibility for my actions no matter how long it takes. And Linda believes him. Because I believe um, that Fanua needs to have this chance. I believe he needs to get out and make a difference. For Jay's daughter, that forgiveness hasn't come as easy. My life ended that day. Autumn Songer Porter, now living in Hawaii, was just 11 years old when Jay was killed. After her father's murder, she says life at home completely changed, and both her mental and physical health deteriorated. I started having seizures. And I got diagnosed with Graves' disease, so I developed epilepsy. It literally altered my brain chemistry, losing him. It completely changed me. As much as it still hurts, she knows she's not the only one who lost a father. I don't think that I'll ever truly forgive him for what he did and the, the role he played, but he needs to be with his daughters. This is the first picture I ever took with my dad. For Fanua's daughters, photos like this have been a rarity. They were just one and three years old when he was locked up, and he's missed the majority of their lives. It, it was little things at first, like daddy-daughter dances, and then it was like the transition from elementary to middle school. It's pretty harsh that like I never really got to know like, him outside of like just like a glass between you. Oh, I mean. Their mother, Alicia, says seeing what Fanua's missed because of what he did has been heartbreaking. Just because you never think someone that you know would, you know, be involved in something like that. So. Do you think he's changed? Oh, yeah, for sure. I just, like, feel like he's very loving now. But I've seen a huge, significant change. Fanua sees it himself. I no longer think or make decisions like I used to. 
Fidel credits that to his relationship with God, worshiping weekly in prison chapels like this one, and participating in Utah's prison reentry program for inmates, addressing the root issues that led to their crimes. Everything that I've, I've learned throughout here, you kind of know how to deal with these feelings, deal with these emotions, so that it doesn't become something more later. Therapy programs, opportunities for graduation, and learning job skills they can take with them when they make the role. And we want to make sure that they are equipped with the tools necessary to be successful in the community and not return to prison. Fidua says he's ready. Jay's family thinks he is too. And I hope he doesn't make me, you know, make me look stupid or, or make me out to be wrong, but I, I don't think he's going to. I really hope he does this for himself and for his kids and he proves everybody wrong and he proves us and our family right. His daughters are anxious to have him home. I really hope my dad can be out here. Yeah, anything to get him out of there. And Fidua feels that wave of love and support. That is a... I, I think it's a miracle in my life. He hopes it's enough to open doors and lock gates when his day to walk out finally comes. Now, when Fanula could get out, he has his first parole hearing in October of 2026. And Linda says she plans to travel from New Mexico to be there in person and speak on his behalf. This story, like, um, wows me every time. I cannot believe. It's so hard to imagine somebody being in that position and being so willing to forgive. It is unbelievable. When you talk to his mom like I did, she says she got the answer she wanted and she feels he's sincere. So she supports him. Incredible reporting. That is yeah. such a good story. Uh, so we'll have that full thing online. You can watch it again to kind of get a sense for how Linda feels the way she does and then his daughter and, of course, and how this has affected them. Incredible. Mm -hmm. That's it for us. Thanks for making us part of your morning.